How's it going, friends and family of the internet? Welcome to the Real AF TV podcast, show about fishing and random takes from the land of 10,000 lakes. I'm one of your hosts, Josh Lava. And I am Tim Wagner. And I didn't have the like normal pop of how's it going, friends and family, because I, I honestly pushed all the air out of my body getting to the bottom of that burp <laughs> <laughs> that I did just before we actually cut to rolling. Yeah. And I don't know what the hell I was doing. You got to 10 and I was making a stupid face. And then I was just like, I can't just let it go now. Just keep it rolling. I don't, know what the, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what this is, but I'm already doing it. Keep I'm it going. Been, I was over here sipping water out this green cup. I don't know what's going on. It's, it is water. I don't know why I'm making that face. I only, oh, well, I ran out of my bourbon. It was a small one. It was just like a shot on the rocks. So it's small, I have, but I ran out of it in the pre-show. I do have bourbon, but I didn't have any of it yet. Which one is that? Ooh, the horse <laughs> horse, the horse soldier. Oh soldier. yeah. Yeah. This, the one with the stamper. Yeah, that's right. With the nine eleven. Yep. That's right. With the, if anybody, I should probably yeah. say that. I was going to say, you can't just say 9-11. Not they bring it, it up, I'm just like, 9-11, horse soldier. <laughs> 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 this uh, little copper uh, Label. It's the label, label on the front of the bottle. Yeah, but it's made out of metal. A little bit of copper on there. It's not all copper because it's definitely from the backside. You can see it's tin. Um, but it is stamped with metal that was from the twin towers on 9 11. it's yeah by a bunch of veterans yeah that's fucking that cool. made it yeah so the stamp that the stamp that, that makes the metal label, label is made is, with yep i'm assuming some of the metal i don't maybe all of the metal could be from, yeah, i mean there's a lot I of mean, fucking metal maybe it is hold. maybe it is all metal from 9 11. right not like all of the metal we just gathered it all up Made the biggest fucking stamp in the world to make this little fucking label. For this little label. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yes, the stamp. Because, yeah, I remember you telling the story. The stamp itself that prints, the, that like stamps the metal that yep. the label's made out of is uh, made from the towers, right? Ground Zero? Yeah. Yeah. Or it's the stamp that makes that. I guess it doesn't necessarily class like specify because there's also the same, like almost like a coin in the top of that. In cork. The, yeah, I see that. Just punching shit. <laughs> so, yeah, just says that. Uh, call just days after 9 11. Whatever. This doesn't say the story back there. I think I maybe Googled it or whatever, but I right. figured out the story and it doesn't say it on the back of the bottle. I apologize for even bringing it up more. You heard the story when I said it the first time. Apologize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you heard it the first time. And if you didn't, this is episode 95. Go back into the backlog if this is your first time coming. Also, yes. a weird episode because we've been teasing. Okay, episode 95, there's going to be something, you know, I got an announcement, got stuff to say. Uh, you, you know what? We usually kick it off with some fishing news, but this time, just got something to say. Let's go hit it with the yeah. little, little news reel there. Um, yeah, here, hold on. I'm coming in hot. Okay. I'm coming in before you. I just want to, before I forget, I meant the first time I said it in this episode because I felt like I was repeating myself. Oh. I don't want to be like the smug asshole that's just like, you heard it the first time you listened to the episode because you listened to all our episodes. I know you did. Stop lying to yourself and me. <laughs> <laughs> After well, you said it, it, I was like, oh, yeah. shit, did I make it sound like I'm talking like, I definitely know you listened to all of it. Also, <laughs> get off my Instagram. Stop creeping on my photos, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I did interpret it that way, but I also twisted it for a transition, you know, for a okay, good segue. Okay, perfect. So, Sorry, I mean, yes. I saw the opportunity to translate it that way and made it into yeah. a segue. Okay, back to the fishing notes. Improv stuff. Okay, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> episode 95 announcement. Uh, so, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll just say it. Five more episodes, and then we're taking a break. We're going to make it to official number 100. 
Uh, yeah. And then we're going to take a break for a little bit because I am having a kid. Oh, yeah. Coming up That's a- August and September. So it's fucking close. And a real kid. And a real kid. Not like my son likes to tell jokes. He goes, hey, have you had a kid? And we're like, you're a kid. And he's like, I'm not a baby goat. And you're like, oh, good one. Oh, nice. good. You're good. Yeah. He's a clever little fella. I know we're talking in the news. I got to also say. Yeah. Yeah. That he learned about your mama jokes recently. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got and a kindergartner he, that knows fucking well. He made up one on his own that actually works. <laughs> Hit me with he it. Comes o- he comes over and he's like, dad. I'm like, what? He's like, your mama's so dumb. And I'm like, oh, oh, really? How dumb is she? <laughs> And he's just like, she's so dumb that if she got locked in a bakery, that she would starve. <laughs> and I'm like, hell yeah, dude. That was nice. That's that was a good nice. one, dude. <laughs> that, that way you would be pretty dumb if you got locked in the bakery and you starved. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. He says some shit that fucking shocks you sometimes. <laughs> I'm not trying to go off on a tangent. You fin- let's finish the story and then head back onto stick around. I'll tell you another. Thing oh yeah, okay, yeah. Let's let's, let's we're gonna do big dad energy for this first part. Big That's what dad. we call it. <laughs> yeah, big D. All right, <laughs> it's not big D. <laughs> it stands for big dad. Right, uh, right. Get your mind out of the gutter, you sick motherfuckers. Yeah, we definitely don't have the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have those. <laughs> yeah, we don't have, we got big fishing lures or whatever, jerks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, we are going to, uh, we're going to put a wrap on the Real AF TV podcast for a little bit, our consistent output item here um, at episode 100. Uh, I... And it's because I just need to uh, take a break. I need to shut down for uh, a minute and uh, focus on my family because when, yeah, I said it's, uh, we're adding, we're adding a new child into the family um, in a few weeks here. Uh, I did the math and our, like the last episode, like actual episode 100 should be um, after birth of the kid already. But, um, you know, we, we put a goal in it. Me and Tim have talked prior to this and stuff. And we said, I just was like, hey, dude, I got to take a break. What do you think about episode 100? We put out more than 100 episodes. Right. Um, because we don't count the specials and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, don't rule out a Christmas or Halloween special. Mm-hmm. I think we, we've done some really fun shit lately and or around those. And so there might be just enough energy and time to do that. But who knows when you got two kids, a newborn and a energetic three-year-old. I don't know what the fuck I'm getting into, which is why I have to take a break. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. I'm already tired. You should have seen me yesterday, dude. I think I'm in baby mode already. I popped yeah. out of bed and went... And checked on my daughter. Just yeah, dead sleep up out over to her room. Open the door, not a peep coming out of the room. And I'm like, what? Fuck. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> and then she woke up a little bit, but she was just like, it's cool, Dad. Whatever. And I just covered yeah. her up and left. And I come back. And my wife goes, "You all right?" <laughs> I'm like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> What are you talking about? I thought she was crying. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> like, dude, it happens. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but I just like, I, I don't know. I don't know what sound it was because it was a sound. I thought I heard her crying. And so I was just up and out of bed. She wasn't. She was fine. She was sleeping. I, yeah. So I was just up and out. It could have been like just something that you had in a dream, like right on the cusp yeah. of waking up or whatever. For sure. Cause I've heard some stuff too, where like the funny thing is, is that like me, I'm always just like, that was my brain. Clearly, whatever. Mm-hmm. I have like some anxiety yep. about everything. <clears throat> always going in. <laughs> yep. Do I'll check the monitor. Cause we still have the like screen hooked up. Yeah, for sure. Cause why the fuck would I stop? He's six, but I still have it hooked up. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I look. Yeah. And his arm. When he's old enough like, to be like, you got a camera yeah. in my room? That's fucking weird. Yeah, 
when he's just like, okay. you're watching me sleep? And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, but just that. I... <laughs> 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 but I, I hear you. Check. Yeah, yeah. But he'll be like be laying in his room and like the bed's like here and his arm is like off. Yeah. And I'm sure like little kids, it doesn't matter. But I'll just be like, that's yeah, fucking hurts the elbow. I gotta go <laughs> fucking fix that arm. <laughs> I like walk in there and like fold the arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, I don't want him to watch, wake up with a sore ass arm, elbow in the morning. Yeah. I just like I can't go to sleep. I just see it real quick, and I just be like, "All right, he's good." I just be like, "My arm's all stupid." And fuck, I got. <laughs> I got to fix that yeah. arm. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've. I also have. Um, mine's way more of a protection problem, mm. where I'll hear a noise, and I'm like, "What the fuck was that?" Mm-hmm. And it could have been like in my head completely. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know, I'm clearing the whole house. Mm-hmm. Just heard one noise and I can't right. yep. in good faith just go back to sleep. Yep. You gotta I'm get up like and I check can't. every door and shit, right? I have to go in the basement, I have to turn on all the lights, I have to walk around, check every room, just be like nothing in here, nothing in here. Yeah. Doors are all locked, everything seems good. Then I can go back to sleep. Yeah. And tell that I'm just laying there. And you know, sometimes I'll try to ignore it and be like, whatever. Don't be stupid. It was just a noise. It was just random. Uh-huh. And all of a sudden you hear like one other tick, tick, and just be like, I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> Can't two of them? <laughs> two of them. That's it. Yeah. 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 I've but had those moments. Also, I used to clear the house before we had a kid too. But that was still like a protection thing. Yeah. I'm like, this is my house. I must I get all fucking home alone. Yeah, that's what I was gonna I was gonna do the same <laughs> joke. <laughs> I must protect it. I must protect it. Yeah. But I'm not walking around with a be- a pellet gun like uh Kevin. shooting Bo Jackson down the laundry chute. Bro, I had like I would clear the house with the twenty two before the kid. I don't walk around with the gun now, but <laughs> <laughs> I would have the twenty two and I'd like walk around and just be like, anybody in here like fucking coming into the doorway with like the gun, just being like you guys know I got this? Just talk, talking, <laughs> talking to, to nobody. <laughs> Just be like, the gun. This is a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. But I'm I'm odd, paranoid like that. Meanwhile, I'm just like, I need to let it go. Everything's going to be fine. Then that one day I go out to my truck and my fucking camera and my all switcher your shit gone. got like, stolen. Yeah, I knew these fuckers were out. <laughs> <laughs> right, it reinforces the like, yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah. Oh shit, dude. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So, anyways, uh, back to it. Yeah, just wanted to say we're taking a break. Five episodes. We'll talk more uh, about oh, yeah. everything in episode one hundred um, because, like, the iCast episodes coming up. That's going to be soon because ICAST is coming soon. So that's probably just going to be as a tradition. We're just going to go fucking straight through. Um, It's still a numbered episode. Like we still consider it a numbered episode, but we usually don't split it up with fishing and random takes. We just go all fishing in. Y'all got to tune in for that because there are lures that came out already, Mm -hmm. but I'm, guessing they're going to be part of iCast oh because they weren't part of iCast last year really i'm telling you bro there's some new shit out there really yeah there's oh shit, there are dude. a couple of lures that are a whole new way of fishing what like it yeah you gotta be fucking kidding me no there's a couple of lures that they've done Damn. A couple of things that are just like, oh, damn. Like, it's it's pretty innovative, the two things that they got. Wow. One of them, one of them is real similar to a way you would already fish, but a lure that you wouldn't use it as. But the other one is like a reverse jerkbait. What the fuck? Does, okay. Yeah, we got to keep moving about. on you because I, I have too we'll come, many questions about that. I know. <laughs> you think? Did you think that was a weird headline? Tune in for the iCast episode where I explain what the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> that is perfect, dude. 
Uh, oh, and you know, okay. So one more thing that I want to say is like, it's, I, I think it's seriously related. I like, I think there's something to this. Um, nobody knows the algorithm that's on YouTube, but like this summer, um, yeah. the organic traffic on our YouTube channel is, is popping up. It hasn't necessarily yeah. led to like higher views, but, um, it's, it's almost like the algorithm is finally recognizing us. Mm. And so it's kind of a bummer to have to, you know, just make this call, but it, it's something that's got to happen. Like I said, I, I'm literally, we've talked about it, me and Tim have, and I just have to make this call to focus on family. Um, yeah. We don't know when the comeback is. We've actually kicked around a bunch of ideas and I just got back one of um, some of our idea, uh, I'll just say our idea note taking software. Um, so we're going to be throwing that back into the mix um, over the break and stuff like that. So uh, not not anything else I just want to say, but it's been it's been cool. Um, we'll get into more. Yeah, uh, it's been cool to see how like getting towards 100 has, has kind of changed things. And uh, I, I wonder what that means. And I we will just have to talk more when it comes to episode 100. Let's move on. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. All right. Uh, you know, I'll just do regular housekeeping here really quick about the, uh, don't forget that you can do comments and feedback and shit like that on Spotify. So please hit us up over there. That's great. Uh, remember Google podcast is dead now. So, uh, anybody who, you know, is listening on Google podcast, get them over to the old YouTubes. Um, and the Patreon has been shut down because of this, um, uh, you know, it's it is what it is. So no no break in the middle here. We're just gonna break for uh, the split. Every other week we are still gonna continue to do that, except for the iCast one, which probably is just gonna be one two hour long episode. We still do every yeah. other week drops. That is Monday. One week Tuesday. Drop a full podcast. There's an off week. Wednesday on YouTube we drop the first half, the fishing half. And then yeah. Friday, we drop the random take. You come back to Monday again, bam, new podcast. Yep. And nothing drops on Tuesday. That was just a dumb word association with my brain. Josh <laughs> said Monday, I said Tuesday, and then I was like, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was weird. I, you just were doing like a, a riff match thing. Yeah. <laughs> you just go, Monday, I say Tuesday, and then I go, shit. <laughs> shit. We don't do anything on Tuesdays. <laughs> Nothing on Tuesdays. Uh, and that's it. That's it. I mean, if you want to, you know, hit us up still, reallyf.tv slash contact is going to be there and everything, even during the break. Um, so that is what it is. What do you say, Tim? Should we jump into some fish and shit? Hell yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Big Dad Energy. Oh, yeah. You got a story to tell. Oh. I forgot. Oh, yeah. It was a joke? Was it so is that what it was? You remember? No, this what this wasn't a joke. This was some math that fucking blew my mind where I had to I said it and then like a second later I go, wait, what? <laughs> so here's what happened. He goes, Okay, I gotta think of how much this is real quick. Yeah. So yeah. it's six times. So he, he goes hey guys and like we're at the cabin we got our bed and then he's got a little bed that's in the same room mm -hmm. so he's laying there we're like about to go to sleep and all of a sudden he's like guys we're like what he goes what's 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 and my wife was like 180 and he goes no and i go now nah, she's right i counted he goes no -uh. and i go what is it then and he goes it's three hours <laughs> and I go, oh, okay. And then I stop and I go, fuck, Shannon, did you? He's right. That is three hours. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, you're right, dude. In time, that is three hours. Very good job, buddy. That was awesome. Nice work. <laughs> Holy moly! And then, but then I couldn't just let him have it. But I was like, but it's also one eighty. But also, 180 yeah. minutes. Three hours is 180 minutes long. We're 
your mom and I are right also. So, <laughs> so I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you know, you're not dunking on us or anything. Yeah, just saying, like, you're super smart, but, like, I'm not that smart because I got, I figured it out, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> damn dude that's crazy though that is really cool i know well wow. i was i was blown away i've been telling everybody about that uh, some people don't seem to be that impressed and i'm just like you got you do you hear the part where i said he's six <laughs> no, I think he's fucking you dope. first oh, oh wait hold on <laughs> let me restart the story so i got a six-year-old <laughs> yeah so i got a six-year-old he's six like, <laughs> some people just don't get it it's it's really yeah, it's odd. I guess I don't want to. Yeah, I'm not shitting know, so on anybody, but it's like he's not. When that you, far the parent, five. are surprised by something like that, you go, "He's catching on." You know, right. they're catching on. Yeah. They're getting it, dude. Oh yeah, it's crazy. It is weird. The only part that he's smart enough that bothers me, where he'll just be like, "Oh, maybe I'll have like." look at a menu or whatever if we go to a restaurant it'll be like maybe i'll have like those chicken nuggets and you just be like what do you mean those chicken nuggets there's not they don't have chicken nuggets here and you can read now like why don't you read mm, mm-hmm. why don't you try to read right yeah Give you it a don't shot. see the picture of chicken nuggets you're just making guesses like you came you told me about 180 is three hours right and you're when it comes to reading you just don't even fucking try <laughs> <laughs> right that part that part bothers me right, right. It's like i know you can but right. he just doesn't right yeah just I don't, so, I don't feel like doing that so I'll just i'm just gonna say yeah. chicken nuggets <laughs> i'm just gonna be like how about those chicken nuggets he's like they don't have chicken nuggets here just like <laughs> just guessing yep just yep. making an right. educated guess yep. he's like i looked at the menu I think maybe I'll have those chicken nuggets. He'll like look down at the menu. Just trying to be all smug. And uh-huh, he's just like, how, uh-huh. how much are you trying to fake? Right. That's the, I think maybe I didn't convey that proper, but like that's the part that bothers me. Where you're just like, I think maybe I'll have the chicken nuggets. Yeah. And you're just like, you didn't read that because it doesn't say that. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Why not just ask? You know, stop trying to fake it. Stop trying. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a certain degree of faking until you make it that works. Yeah. This ain't this ain't it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I'm not actually gonna give you shit because you didn't read it proper. But when you're trying to pretend that you read it and I know you didn't, that bothers me. Right. Because I'm right here for to help. Right. Yep. You know? Yeah. What do they have? And just be like, oh, let's look. You know? And then most of the time it's like, what's that word? Can you read that word for me? And then he'll say it and I'll be like, good. And then I'll finish the rest of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. It says mini corn dogs. Not, you know, what's that word? Mean, m- my, mean, mini. Never says it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's getting there. Good. Still early. Yeah. He's doing all right. I just told you. Kid knows hours. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways. All right, dude. Yeah. Let's jump into some fish and shit. Okay. What we're going to do here. Bass Go just back. dropped their top 100 best bass lakes of 2024. Let's talk about Hell it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, we've done this before and I did not go back and listen because you know what? I was like, don't, don't go back and don't no. go analyzing your shit. Don't just, who cares? Roll forward. So if we say some shit yep. that we said last year, whatever. Right. Whatever. We're just, I, I definitely have a different format and stuff this year. Cause I, I didn't, I don't, we didn't do it this way before. Yeah. Um, plus if repeating yourself was a problem, Joe Rogan wouldn't be popular. <laughs> <laughs> he says the same shit all the time. <laughs> right, right. Of course. <laughs> you do that many fucking hours of podcast and it's going to happen. So, good. 100%. <laughs> good point. There's a good chance that if you're watching this one that you might not have seen the other one anyways. But who cares? We're talking about the lakes of this year. This They year. might be the same lakes. That's but, right. I mean, if you don't like that, then you'd just be like, what are you going to go tell bass? <laughs> yeah. Hey, these You're are the go same places last year. Pick the same lake. Yeah. 
there's still good lakes. Yeah. And it, it's so, yeah, it's really, it's actually pretty cool. Um, some of the stuff that uh, I got here, but. All right. Uh, so I'm going to kick it off with, was that the the, the bourbon? Thump. Yep. Oh, that sounded good. I do have a shot glass, so I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one. Yeah, go take a sip. Take a take a sip to, to hundred, hundred best lakes. We're gonna cover them all right here. Hell yeah! Ready? I'm take a shot for all nighter. No, no, this is gonna get mixy. So hang in there with us. Um, yeah. Number one, right up top, they put the Saint Lawrence River at number one oh. Bass Lake. For 2024. Um, yeah. Man, they go there every year. At least, you know, since we started the podcast four years ago, St. Lawrence mm-hmm. has been on the elite tour every year that yeah. I can think of. I'm certain yeah. of it. Well, I think it is a great fishery, but I think those kind of rivers too mm-hmm. um, give so much variety that it almost allows every guy to do what they want to do you know what do you mean like they can like they have you know there's like wide and like wider parts of the river that are almost like their own lakes Mm -hmm. so these guys Mm -hmm. can go and find like matted vegetation they can go find whatever the one dudes can go work the the current Oh. The other dudes can go fish points. Like they can all, oh. whatever their favorite way of fishing is. You know, sometimes the weather okay. and stuff dictates differently. But right, they can of course, just be like, this is what I like. This is what I think will work. Uh-huh. And we saw that when we went to uh, watch the Bassmasters too, because right. we right. saw them on the river. Yep. And some of the guys were tossing, you know, top water baits right next to the wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, some dudes were tossing top water baits over in some weeds yep there was that one dude that was like right on the dam fishing yeah. like right at the bottom of the dam yeah like, i remember that it just gives all the variety and in, in there a was one dude like that. pulling docks i remember that yeah. yeah so yeah of course docks yep right everybody so it gives you all these different options on what to do you know some right. lakes are very one not one dimensional but it's like you can go deep. You can go shallow. Yeah. You can fish docks. You can fish weeds. Yeah. Like, that's what this lake has. But some of these rivers are like, we have everything. And mm-hmm. I think, isn't the St. Lawrence like a tidal river too? Uh, I Where actually did at? look into that. But uh, the part that they had marked on the map was actually, is the part that's connected to um, Lake Ontario. So it's, oh, okay, it, yeah, but so the, I don't know if they fish. So it seems like it's the part of Lake Ontario, but I don't. So I don't know though. Is the current already affecting? No, does the tidal affect that far in? You know, is the Saint yeah. Lawrence actually have a tidal? Uh, I'm not sure, but it's the end of the Great Lakes. Like it's the first. Right east of the great lakes the saint lawrence is like the way it's the it's the gateway in from the right uh yeah it does say when i google that yes the saint lawrence river has strong tides and currents that affect water levels mm, mm-hmm. from the gulf to near trios rivieras trio Trio in the Gulf, though they're talking about like the Gulf of Mexico. I, I don't know. Saint Lawrence River has strong tides because if you're if you're talking about the Gulf of Mexico, Gulf, you're not talking about the same Saint Lawrence that I'm talking about. From the Gulf to near Trios. <laughs> it just says from the Gulf. It doesn't. The tides are caused by the. Uh, I don't know what the to, Gulf is. To be honest, I don't know either. Maybe that's not. I don't think it could be affected by the tides. It's pretty far inland, you know, like think about where the, the great lakes are. Oh, it's, here it's this, in the North part. So it, this Saint one Lawrence says that, go ahead. This one's definitely the same one. It says the estuary begins at the Eastern tip of um, that's Fran French. So I don't know how you Quebec. say it with all yeah, the little amber in, sand weird things. Because it's, it's like Quebec is the, um, yeah, right, right. Yep. And it says Lida Orleans. Yep. 
Hey, that was not a French accent. <laughs> that was like, oh, it was too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Les de Orleans. That's not it, it either. <laughs> Fucking shit. Just downstream from Quebec City, but it says the re- the river becomes tidal around Quebec City. Oh, okay. So it's not all tidal rivers. So depending right. on where they're allowed to go, maybe they can't even get out of the tide. <laughs> which would also be crazy where this guy's like i'm fishing the title part and the other guy's just like i don't want anything to do with your guy yeah well the part that they're specifically saying is like on the ontario side so i don't think it's affected it's on the lake ontario side which is like north east oh, okay northwest new york um but okay. there is the border between the u.s and canada there yeah, yeah. on on all of this um i see yeah, for sure. So, I, and huh. I mean, it's a river. It's a great lake. It's big. There, I'm sure there has to right. be adjustments in water that happen there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I what I was saying is like I feel like the elites in the ever since we started the podcast and you know the last five or so years that I've been watching it, I I swear, I didn't look it up, but I swear Bassmaster is there every time, and they're always fishing smallmouth there. Oh yeah, yeah, and because that's <clears throat> no. Go ahead. I I think a lot of the Great Lakes that's like their big selling point. Oh, and just the Great Lakes the, in general, or like I think they're I think they're very like smallmouth driven. Yeah, like, like Michigan is very smallmouth. Like okay, Erie for is, whatever reason. I'm like yeah, just the big clear water lakes. Like Mille Lacs is a smallmouth. Like if it's just a big body of water that's clear. Yeah. It's just a good smallmouth. Like okay. it seems to be a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that's also, cool. I think, I think probably the another reason that it's number one on the list is that um, there are good sized fish in there, too, which helps. Yeah, there but are like our our northern lakes. Yep. Like everything up in the north. Yep. Seems to have better numbers. That's what a lot of people say. Is that we don't have the possibilities of sizes that they have in the south but uh-huh. we have the numbers oh so when you have the possibility of still catching really good sized fish yeah and you can go out and catch a lot of them uh-huh. instead of like working all day to get your five fish right right down south you know but the having the chance of like a double digit weight you know right that's kind of one of the big draws for down south but up here I'm sure that's one of the reasons that it's high on the list. The that action that it everybody's out there putting five in the boat, and yeah, calling and just being like, "Which one should I throw back?" I'm catching so many, right, right, yeah, yeah, a lot of action, yeah, right. sure. Um, that. Oh man, where were they? I wish I, could. I, I, I'm just gonna skip past that thought. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you're right, you're Tim. This is a, I think. You're on to something there because, oh, cheers. I don't have any more, but uh, I think you're on to something there because, or you're like, you're basically saying it in, in just a different set of words because one of the reasons it is on the, the number one on the list is because in 2023, when the Bass Elite was there, yeah, the top four yeah. got century belts. Yeah, dude, that's nuts. Dude, the top four all put a hundred pounds on in the weekend of smallmouth, dude. So you're Big. talking about like there's a lot of action, lots of fish. The top mm-hmm. four, dude, all put over a hundred pounds on the scales that weekend. The top four out there just catching footballs yeah dude big old footballs right patrick walters 105 chris johnston 103 koyota koyoa fujita i have to say his full name uh 102 and taco iru with 101 damn dude that's what got put on the scales last year out of st lawrence I got to make sure I catch it this year again. Like, yeah, that is so crazy. Dude, like, no see? wonder this place. Cause think, of, think about what you just said, the amount yeah. of fish, they have to be there. And then the, they're nice 
fucking size smallies too. Yeah. And the Japanese guys are like, there's always been a presence. They've always been there. But to see, I think they're both Japanese, to see both yes. of them up in that century belt mark. Yeah. And then did you see the last Bassmaster term? I say the last one. I don't know if there was one. The last elite that, yeah, Taku yeah. won his second. Was it Taku? It was Taku who won. Yeah. There's, an, there's one before that. There was another Japanese guy. Oh, was it? I think so. Oh. I don't think it was Taku. I think it was a different guy. Oh, shit. He won? He won that elite bet? Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. I must have missed that one. Or maybe it was Taku, and for some reason I was reading his name wrong. The most recent one, um, the it wasn't the weekend of the fourth because that so it must have been the weekend before that I think. Taco won his second trophy, um, but yeah, yeah, you're right. There is something to that. The like it seems like the Japanese fishers are super good at these smallies. So to see, like, it, they're like they come over here, they're going brown's back fishing or something. Um, yeah, but yeah, Kai. Kayoa, Fujita, 102, and Taco Iru at 101 is like they're they're three and four. And then Patrick Walters at 105, putting him two pounds ahead of Chris Johnston with 103. And I'm just like, yeah. Well, no shit, this place is uh, like number one on the list. You always say it, Tim. Fun to fight him. When it Hell comes yeah. to when it comes to smallmouth, and this place seems to be pushing it, <laughs> pushing those smallmouths like up there, dude. They're such good fighters. Yeah. Per pound, I think they might be the best fighters out there. Yeah, yeah, I think you've said that before. So, like St. Lawrence and Lawrence, and and they're they say on the New York side because I you know Avast doesn't have permission to go into Canada. I don't think. Um. Yeah, I think they just participate in the United States. It was it was Taco Ito. Yeah. So you're what talking the about the, you're Why? talking about the most yeah. recent elite uh yeah, series. Yeah. Why did I think it was somebody else? But mm. here's the reason that I brought that up. Oh, okay. Did you see the baits he was using? Uh, no, I saw the article when I went to read these 100 uh dude. What were they? Not only the reason that I brought up Japanese guys wasn't just to be just like, hey, you see these goddamn Japanese guys? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that couldn't have been the case. <laughs> yep, I know, but you're right. But no, he he won it using very Japanese style lures. Oh, Geek Crack. I think oh, it's Geek Crack. I heard has this one new- of them was is a prototype. Is that right? Ooh, I don't know about if it's a prototype. Oh, okay. But I saw, I saw one. I of thought them I that's heard like one of them that new... he was really getting hammered on was not out yet. Okay, but that definitely could be. Yeah. Okay. If you didn't read that though, just that's okay. Moving on. Sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. I interrupted. So the the one thing that he was using is one of the craziest looking like drop shot baits. I've ever seen, mm-hmm. and apparently it works, dude. It's like a cube, a cube, with like, and it's got like just flanges coming off of it that are like just single pieces of rubber. Okay, it here. Where's the hook? It's this, it's called like I don't know what brand this is. This is just some random shit. It looks like a spider. It's a cube with like a bunch of random ass just things. It's like up. the skirt of a like spinning jig or, or a not. It's like the yeah, skirt. Yeah, like a skirted jig. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's on a cube. Where's yeah. the fucking hook, dude? Dude, it's so weird. And then like what? he just had like other weird like Japanese baits that a lot of people don't have around here. Sure. And he comes in and he wins. That and you're like, is fucking cool. Dude, this. Yeah. So uh, that's why I brought it up. Yeah. It's just like he had very, not only did he come in being like a Japanese guy fishing lakes that he didn't grow up fishing. Right. 
but he's using like very Japanese techniques of like that stuff that's coming over from there. Right. Where people are just like the first time I saw it where they're just like new hot bait. And I'm like, what the shit? <laughs> people are catching uh-huh. fish on that. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, and then to see Taku go out and win a fucking elite series. Right. With that weird ass bait. You just like, damn dude. I guess it does work. Right. That's so weird. That's <laughs> so, fucking cool. Yeah. So here's one, Tim. Moving on to number yeah. two on the list. This is one we've definitely talked about because I was like, how in the fuck do you pronounce this thing? I remember that. But it's just Ohivy, right? The V Lake in Texas. Isn't that how you say it? Uh, V. It's O. Period H period I V I E. We've definitely talked about this lake before because this thing is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. But it's moved up. It's moved up on the list. There is uh this isn't an exact quote, but I pulled this from the article. They basically said. The reason why this lake is cry is crawling up the list and the reason why it's number two on the list is because we've talked about this before, Tim. You can go into it a little more if you if you got more, because I think you know more than I do. The Texas Park yeah. and Wildlife, gotta give them the shout out for that selective breeding program that they're doing down oh, there. Yeah. And they're just yep. saying like this lake is benefiting the fuck out of that program. Right. Check this out. Yep. Yeah. 35 Toyota share lunkers. I guess that's what they're, you know, so that means they're eight pounds or heavier. This is a thing that goes on in Texas. Oh, yeah. 35 in the first four months of 2024 that's were recorded crazy. on that lake. Yeah. And that, <laughs> I think that share, I think I brought that up. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm I saying. That, if you got something to yeah. say about it, go. You, I think you know well, more. I think that share lunker is that thing where they're catching them and then they hit up that company and that company takes them to do that like selective breeding like you just touched on and then they'll let the fishermen like release it back into the lake later. Ah. So they they call uh-huh. them up, they say, "Hey, I got a big fish." And they're just like, "Yeah, let me get that and bring it back to the lab and get a little bit weird with the <laughs> And then they <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the fisherman's like, whatever, as long as I get to put it back healthy later. Right. And then the, the scientists are just like, don't worry about it. We're going to treat it real nice. Real then, fucking good. You know what I mean? Gonna tear, yeah. You it reminds me of that about. scene in Beer Fest. You're jerking off frogs? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you guys are doing over here? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but oh, yeah, yeah, that must be what's going on then, because that explains why it's called a Toyota share lunkers. So to- they share lunkers probably gets the sponsorship from Toyota to get a little bit more money to make sure that the fish make it over to the Texas uh, Parks and Wildlife. Mm-hmm. They they do the thing, and then share lunker make sure they get back. Like it, it's yeah. fucking paying off, dude. Thirty five yeah. in the first four months of twenty twenty two over eight well, pounds. I mean, fucking it. yeah. God. And Toyota is like one of the biggest sponsors out there for the Bassmasters and stuff. So you think that mm. it's only in their best interest mm-hmm. to try to make sure that the selective breeding can get some monsters because that's only going to help the sport. That's only going to yep. get more eyes on it. Right. When somebody pulls in a 15 pounder in a tournament. Everybody's going to be like, that's going to go viral. Everybody's oh, right. Everybody's going to be talking about Oh, yeah, big time. Did you see the size of that bass, uh-huh. that taco? You know, now they're on, on that weird-ass fucking dice thing? <laughs> <laughs> and and, and uh, they're they're on the the big sports networks now, too. They got, they're got they on FS1. Oh, yeah. So, like that, yep. you know, like you said, to not only do you have that big moment right there on the, like, literally on the big screen, but you have that, that yeah. viral feed too of someone pulling something gigantic. Um, yep. But speaking of that, 12 legacy class bass, meaning they have to be over 13 pounds, 13 plus. 
pounds. 12 of them. 12 of those bastards. Yeah, so you can assume that this is all like measuring the first four months or first four to six months of the year. 12 over 13, 17 Strike King Elite class, again, getting the sponsorships in, which means they have to be over 10 pounds. That's crazy. Do the math. I did the math. (laughs) You don't have to do the math. I did the math. 29 out of those 35 share lunkers then were over 10 pounds if you break that down. Yeah. So there were 35 total share lunkers, which just means you have to be over eight pounds. Right. 29 out of the 35, if you add all that up of what I just said, 29 out of 35 fish were over 10 pounds, man. That's nuts. The Ohio V Lake lake. in Texas is fucking benefiting from a selective breeding program. There's like no doubt about it. And in case you didn't know, I know we were talking about like, oh, repeating stuff. If you've been listening, you've heard it before. Almost every single one of those, if not all of those, are bigger than any bass you could possibly catch in Minnesota. Possibly catch. Possibly. A bass the just can't record, get that big up here with the way our weather state, patterns are and yeah. our food supply is in the water. Yep. The state record is just shy of nine pounds. Yeah. And these have to be over eight pounds, <laughs> meaning that they're probably in the nine pound range somewhere right, in there. Right. And like you said, quite a few of them would absolutely shatter our state record. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like a, and like that's a fucking one elevator through a glass ceiling. Yep. And that's not just down south. That is one lake in Texas. Yeah. One yeah. lake. Yep. That's they said nuts. it had a ton to do how it climbed up the ladder. I don't know where it was last year. I didn't look that up, but they said it climbed the ladder. And and, and here's why. Also, this is something cool yeah. that they threw in there. Two major airports are within driving distance, like less than four hours. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. So like go on vacation in there, you know, get a truck for the weekend. Like it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So that's that's pretty sweet. All right, Tim. Let's go over to number three, Orange Lake, Florida. Now, I don't remember talking about this one at all before. I just mm-hmm. seen Orange Lake and I was like, what the fuck? This seems no, new remember. and it's up in the number three. Like, I don't remember talking about this bastard at all. Yeah. And here we are in the top three. So you ca- you can assume that this all this data again is gathered in the first you know half of 2024. Um, yeah, for what they're doing because down south it's you can fish it. Thirty three bass over eight pounds. Fourteen in the double digits. One bass at thirteen four. That's. Very similar sounding to the last leg. <laughs> and but that is coming out of a state without a selective breeding program where they're not right. putting this like super high attention on trying to get this like mega bass attraction yeah. going. Which is crazy. Yeah. Pretty nuts, right? Yeah. yeah. Plus you got the chance to catch an hour. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's always a plus. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're not going to we're not going to sit here and go over every single one of them because I kind of have a part 2 to this. But Okay. Minnesota made the top 10. Hit me with yes. it, Tim. What do you think it is? Take your swing. It's got to be Malax. Oh yeah, of course it's Malax. <laughs> yeah. You already said this, it earlier. It's totally Malax. The small yeah, the smallmouth fishing. That's I think that's the only lake they've ever fished in our state. The elites um, have have fished uh Malax? Yeah, yeah. Cool. That was, uh, we talked about it. And the MLF has here. been on Mille Lacs because the year we went to the elites down yeah. south Minnesota, yeah. the next weekend I had to go north Minnesota past Mille Lacs, and that's when the MLF was up there. So I literally was like okay. within, I mean, we went to the bass one and then I couldn't stop and go to that. We had something up. Uh, we had a wedding that was north of Mille Lacs. And so like, I couldn't stop. There was no time in the schedule. 
I yeah. So I know that I know, I know I, MLF's not been out there. I'm pretty sure it was the leads. I don't think it was around that same time frame. Sure. I want to say it was like maybe the year before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I believe I it. I, I mean, it's a giant fucking sure. lake. I mean, it's it's a good yeah. fishery. Obviously, making number ten on bass's best ten. Yeah. Um. Do I saw that orange lake and I was like, ooh, let me take a peek. Yeah. I got excited because I'm going to be going to Florida in March. Right, it is right. Way north of where I'm going. Oh, too far, huh? Yeah, good, not too good, bad. Good thought, though. I forgot about that. So it's it's good to look into. Yeah, damn, it's it looks like bad. it's quite a bit north of Orlando. Yeah, and we're going south of Orlando because the water apparently is not that warm up there as far as the ocean goes. So, ah, uh, gotcha. random side note: I was just a. I was hoping to just be like, and guess what? I'm gonna fish it, just, but like, no, it's definitely. But no, it's just it's though. too far. <laughs> yeah, damn. But we'll try to fish a different one. Yeah, for sure. And God, I hope you go for. I really hope you. I don't even care if you don't. I don't even care if you catch a peacock. I just want you to go out and be like, dude. Trust me, I went to a spot where they it. are. Like I was yeah. giving it my all, you know. God, I, I don't know what the rules are for like a check bag, but we have to bring uh, like a booster seat already. And I was like, can I just get like a big duffel bag and put all my fishing gear? Like <laughs> I have stuff to ocean fish. I have plenty of stuff to freshwater fish. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I have. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I have all the gear to hit both now. I literally have like a little spot in my garage that's just like, here's all my saltwater beach stuff. For when I end up so, doing that again. Here. So here's a tip that where my snowboard experience might come into play. Ooh, depending on what airline you're flying, you don't have to say yeah. just depending on what airline you're flying. I don't know yet. Sports gear flies checked for free. Whoa. So it just it did I think I think it's two things. It depends on the airport you're going into. Right. Yeah. Like you're going into Salt Lake, sports gear flies free. You're going into Denver, sports gear flies free. Yeah. Uh so so check that because if you're going to Florida and it's a fishing state, right? Like you may be able yeah. to check your your fish gear for free. Um Ooh. I've only had that happen to me one time. But <laughs> the other thing, the the main thing, the thing that like happens every single time is Yeah. Sports gear technically falls into nine times out of 10. It falls into the um, over category and you're supposed to pay per pound or per, per cubic inch or whatever. Okay. But yep. if you're flying in, so I've had this happen every single time flying into Denver or wherever. Yeah. You pay the same price as a check bag, whether it's over the 50 pound limit. It's obviously oversized because it's got a fucking snowboard in it. They don't right. charge you the extra they don't charge you the oversized bag you just pay normal check bag price so you might be able to check your fishing shit at normal check bag price too nice so check that shit yeah. out little little pro sports traveling tip hell yeah dude yeah that's a that's a good tip to have yeah you just gotta look all you gotta do is just go to the website and check out sports like literally go to their bag check thing and type in sports control f sports and poof It'll bring you down to it and it'll just give you all the policy. Like that's how I've figured nice, it out. Nice, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I might have to start. Yeah. Cause that'd be sick. Uh, you know what a lot of golfers do? They FedEx their shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Like to the hotel? Yeah. Yeah. And you can just put like a hold on it. You know, the hotels have like a mail room or whatever. And so you can yeah. say, just hold for me. And you can put like delivery date, this date. And, um, it's like less yeah. than fifty dollars or something, you know. I, I'm saying it's a comparable thing because really, if you can get it to and from for you know less than a hundred bucks, yeah, for sure, that's a thing. So yeah, dude, think about that. Good, too. good call. I think that's a good tip for everybody out there. There's probably a lot of people that are traveling, trying to go fishing, bringing their stuff. Yeah, and now if what you said works. For whatever airline you're going on, that's a great tip yeah. to try to check. Because I have never actually tried to travel with my stuff. Sure. Because a lot of times I'm, I road trip places. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I don't have to worry about it. You just throw it in the back. I've never tried to travel on a plane. Sure. 
most of the time when I fly someplace, I just go, well, I'm not bringing anything and I'm going to have, I'm going to pay you to bring me fishing. <laughs> right. Right. And last time I didn't like the outcome. So I'm like, I'm going to definitely try to I think just do everything on my own. Yeah. Well, you've always been that sort of ambitious too. It's always like you want, like you think you know how to fish it, right? Like you do your research. Mm -hmm. We've talked about that before. Ah, maybe we should save this for another episode. This is getting into some good shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go on to, okay. So here's the new thing that I learned this year about the Bass Top 100. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I had to think about that. My mind still got kind of back on traveling. And, and um, anyways, uh, before we before I pull myself back into that. Um, oh shit. No, no, no. It's Mille Lacs. Of course it's Mille Lacs. Number 10. Let's go yep. back to Lacs. that. Let's go Lacs. back. Cause yep. I don't want to skip over this. Um, so you know how I said before, like we, we talked about the number one with St. Lawrence and how the elites went there and they just fucking slaughtered them. Yeah. <clears throat> they didn't have any elite information, but <clears throat> it seems local. There is a third annual city auto glass bass classic that was um held on this lake and okay it was um uh, so also i gotta quickly say this is last year's stuff because you know that in the first six months of uh the year january through june yeah we don't pop really up here <laughs> like no our sports fishing is uh not that great by the time bass has to publish this so they're actually going back to 2023 data um, okay. to make their defense or to like present their case for uh, Mille Lacs. Sure. So this is the third annual city uh, auto glass classic bass, auto glass bass classic. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. That is. Five auto fish. Bass glass classic. Five fish tournament. First place, 26.22. Second, 25.45. Third, 25.12. Fourth, 25.1. Fifth, 25.04. So every fish they're catching is five pounds. That's a good size smallmouth up here, dude. That is a big fish. That's my that's my personal best. Is it? It's I, I've caught two five pounders. Two they're five big. pound smalls. That's your so you have two yeah. PBs that are tied for each other. Yeah, I haven't never I haven't like weighed them on like an at like a perfect scale yeah to get to like the point zero four level of fifth yeah. place kind of shit yeah. what well, yeah. it was like the bass charts you know <laughs> like where you take the measurement and then it shows you like that's a five pound fish oh yeah and yeah you're like hell yeah I so you. it's like they were both big tanks and then uh -huh. you look at the measurement and you're like that's a five pounder that's fucking i don't sweet, have like a dude. Yeah, I don't have a legit scale where I'm like holding it up and just being right like five, and seeing one, the number five, and shit. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably should get one, but yeah, that was uh, those are hell of fighters. Yeah, and five. Yeah, the the top five people put that many in their boat. <clears throat> yeah, so that means and like a couple that's of people consistency. Had some six pounders. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. That's good. Very consistent. Yeah. When you get on them, they're just big tanks everywhere. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And you got a chance to go get in one, even if you don't really know 100% what you're doing. They have a launch, is what they call it, where you go out there and there's like this giant uh, boat. It's almost kind of like a ferry style. And it, like mm. everybody can fish. Oh, it's it's like a joint instead of like charter fishing. It's like one thing that they bring out there. Yeah. And, and like you just kind of 15 like, people throw lines out off the side. It's like a yeah, it's like yeah. the biggest so pontoon you, you ever seen. And you just fish off the edge of it with a shitload yeah. of people. But it's not a pontoon. It's almost like a tugboat. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I, I got you. A barge. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Yeah, a barge. Yeah, something like that. A barge is right. So you so you go out there and. We were all trying to catch walleyes and stuff. I mean, this is mm -hmm. what they were trying to put you on. And you just kind of drag and like there was barely any wind and they were like, Oh, they're on the flats and it's like not wind or like not cloudy and there's not much wind. And we're just dragging and like nobody caught anything except for one lady that pulled in a big ass smallmouth. 
Oh, nice. Immediately just pull and drag. And she's like, oh, I got something. <laughs> like, Hell yeah, you got something. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That is yeah, cool. So you got, you got a chance at, you know, you don't have to be a pro to go up there. It doesn't cost that much. They go out a couple times a day. Just go up there, get on that thing. They'll outfit you with some stuff. You'll drift. You might not catch anything, or you might catch a personal best smallmouth. Right, right. You right. never know. <laughs> a nice, good fighter. Yep. Oh, also that tournament, the top 19 teams, top 19 teams all weighed in over 20 pounds. 19. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just again, Damn. back to the like, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. So at least could, 19 guys on the same day averaged at least a four pound fish. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Malax is crazy, dude. <laughs> it was fun to it was fun yeah. to see that. Um, so then what I was getting in, what I jumped into early there is uh I hadn't seen this one before where they did zones. And I saw Central and I was like, all right, all right. Let's all right. see how Minnesota. So truth is, I did this for Minnesota. <laughs> I had to go check it out. I was like, click. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Because we're in the Central Zone. And then when I was doing the research on the 100, the top 100, yeah, yeah, it hit me again. Oh, fuck, dude. We're in there with Texas. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, because it just goes down the middle, not northern. Right, yeah. No, nope. yeah. they say central, and they literally mean like central time zone. I mean, it wasn't, I, they didn't yeah. like have the borders on it, but you could just make assumptions, right? And I was like, fuck. Oh, right. Minnesota's not going to have as much on there as I thought they might because, well, we're in there with Texas. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Seems like they could have done a different zoning. You know? <laughs> yeah, it, it it feels a little unfair, but hey, feels a I'm not here all the way across. You know, it's going to be like the zones and every zone. It's just going to be like the number one lake is the southernmost lake. <laughs> 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 yeah, probably. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not trying to hate on their system or whatever, but it just made me go like, oh, damn. Here I thought we had a had a shot. I mean, right. I shouldn't. I should say immediately as soon as I said it, well, I should probably should take that back because the number one overall lake is in the north. So mm. I was like, <laughs> you're right. That, you're I'm right. Like, well, it was. <laughs> I guess there's a flaw in my system immediately. <laughs> yep. You're right. And I didn't catch it. Uh, well, I was moving on just because, yeah, it's a tough category. And the reason why uh, I was moving on here is because that Ohio uh lake in texas that was the number one yep and then we got big old badass lake fork coming in at number two. Oh uh, yeah 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 you've told me i i have learned that over the past four years of doing the podcast that can't fucks with lake fork not just a I beast think it's supposed to be yep i think it's supposed to be a pretty good crappy lake too oh really mm-hmm. nice they got they got good crappy fishing down south Plus, you can like fish. I think in some of those lakes, like as many rods as you want. <laughs> they have like spider really? rigs in the front where it's like one pole that goes up into this mount where they'll literally have like five rods, like two out to the side, two slightly further in, and one directly in oh, the middle. Jesus! And they'll just troll. Sure. Like just drive. Just drag forward. five like, lines. Uh-huh. God <laughs> yeah, damn! Not, and this yeah, is this is recreational fishing. Yeah, recreational. They'll have tournaments where there's like what the you fuck? Know, 30 boats out there with five rods apiece. Right in if you're doing this stuff, because I want to hear about it. That <laughs> yeah, fucking dude, that to is too. wild to people up here in Minnesota, where if you get caught with two rods in the fucking water, yeah. not good. Uh-uh, we can't have two. Wisconsin, you can't have two, but like you still can't go wild with it. And down south, it just looks like they get to do whatever they want. That's crazy dude just like where do you catch all your crappie well i use five rods and i just pull up on the the structure i dropped in the water <laughs> they all, they all. <laughs> last year this the structure that i dropped in the water last year <laughs> like oh fuck okay <laughs> all right right on yeah i'm a hundred percent man-made 
I mean, I do everything myself. <laughs> what what you guys do up north? I got one rod and I got to fish what I can find. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of choices. I'm not going to lie. I could uh, yep. just turn around and go to a different lake, walk across the yep. block. Yep. But uh, <laughs> uh, number three of the central zone is Bussy Break Reservoir down Louisiana. Bus, buzzy. <laughs> Bussy Break. Bussy. Bussy Break Reservoir. Uh, I thought this was funny and... I mean, it is. They call I think it, that's what. I, <laughs> it's just it's a, not the greatest name for. Like, do you know you know what bussy is? <laughs> <laughs> but does he? <laughs> but just bussy is like a. Yeah, it's a. This is a vision podcast. I know he swear, but I was like, I don't know if I should be talking about bussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Somehow I don't know. I know what bussy is, but I don't know what it is by itself. Yeah, well, bussy is like the. Uh... <laughs> if you don't, that's okay. You can say it in the break. Yeah, just, just Google it if you're old enough. <laughs> <laughs> don't Google it at work, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It might not be. <laughs> Okay, it could be if you, if you Urban Dictionary it, it might be work friendly because you could just read right because you can read it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe don't click on images. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it is. And I'm, okay, okay. Uh, so they said it was a small lake at two thousand two hundred acres in northern Louisiana. I was like, God damn, two thousand acres. That's fucking. That's good size. Yeah. And uh, the cool thing about this lake is it used to feed a paper mill. Water Paper mills take up a shitload of water. Yeah. And so that's what it was. Then it got donated to the state of Louisiana in 2013. And they reopened it in 2020 to the public. Nice. Yeah. So the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries, their DNR down there, as we call them up here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they they spent the time to make this place into a fishery. And here it is, number three on uh, the Central Zone Lake after being a paper mill pond. Yeah. It's pretty fucking cool. That's, that's pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, March of 2024 here, a 15.7 ater got pulled out of that lake. Two ounces short of the state record damn dude that's (laughs) gnarly yeah i was just like that that's worth bringing up (laughs) yeah and shout out to their fucking wildlife and fisheries department turning a fucking paper mill pond into a hammer of a lake right yeah that's wild to be like in what seems like a relatively short amount of time to produce just shy of the state record. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. I mean, you got to think they're stocking it with other fish and stuff like that, but like, I think some of those smaller lakes did. I mean, 2013 to 2020, that's plenty of time to grow a big ass bass down there. For sure. And I think some of those smaller lakes, it's it, something weird happens. Yeah. Where like they almost have like a like an unlimited food source. Mm. Like it's like they don't have to go searching for it. Uh-huh. It's like the because the smaller like there's just always something. There's just yeah, it's not as much reach. to cover. Yeah. Yeah. Cause the state record here in Minnesota was also set on a little tiny lake. That's true. The largemouth yeah, yeah it's a small lake. Yeah, I literally so I have something to it. Kayaked all the way across the. There's two parts to that lake. I don't remember if they have a different name for each one. Yeah, but there's like a little channel in between the two parts. Anyways, I've literally kayaked across the whole thing, like manual, just fucking right. out there. I'm like, I'm going yep. to the other side to go fishing because I fished this one, and I just paddled my ass out there. That's how yeah. small that lake is. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah, I've definitely looked at that lake and just been like, I'm just going to fish 
all of it. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just the whole fucking lake. Get, I'm just going to do the whole thing. Uh, the whole thing. I'm not going to choose one spot. I'm going to fish the whole lake and I'm going to see if I can catch me a state record. Yeah. I haven't I haven't been out there to do it yet. But right. I do I but, do look at it thinking well, like, "Oh, yes." Yeah. Come on down. Um hell yeah. So, I okay. The so I, it's they call it a small lake at 2200 acres and I was like fucking hey that seems I don't know that's a lot of acres to me. And then number 4 here's Lake Malax in the central zone coming in at number 4. Yep. Baby, Minnesota still made the top 5 in the number central four. zone. Um yeah. It's 132,500 acres. <laughs> yeah, dude. I know it's a gigantic lake, but when you put that up against a small lake at 2,200, you go, yeah, yeah, there's a huge difference. I get it. <laughs> right. Minnesota did come in again. We made the top 25 two times. Lake Vermilion. You ever been up there? Yeah, dude. I just saw Lake Vermilion like last week had a fucking water spout. Whoa! Like the, no yeah, way! The, yeah, the tornado over the water. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, I think it was just last weekend. Yeah, because there were some weird fucking storms, weather like weather and storms that were just popping. Like most most places were good, and then all of a sudden these hard pockets of weather were just like bam. Yeah, a water yep. spout over that big bastard, huh? Yep. Crazy. Yeah, I guess they're pretty rare, but yeah, they had one. Yeah. I've I've never fished Lake Vermilion since I've been like a legit fisherman. Oh, okay. I I've been up there as a kid. Oh, okay. Where Sweet. our extent of fishing was my dad, you know, just we drive mm-hmm. towards the shore until we start to see weeds and then we jump anchor and bobber fish. Ah. Uh-huh. Gotcha. That's what it was. Right. No points, no nothing. Just a random ass spot. Just a spot. Just stop. Yep. <laughs> just a spot. Drive till you see weeds, drop anchor, throw out a bobber. Yep. That's it. Yep. We're on the water. Yep. We're having fun. Yep. <laughs> That's dad fishing. Yep. yep. Dad fishing 100%. 101 right there, baby. Yep. <laughs> now, this is just a random side note. Now I can go out and target crappies. I can go out and target walleyes. I can go out and like find these fish. I remember when we were kids in like the five years that we had been fishing the little lake that we had gone and fished. It wasn't Shamina yet. Yep. He had caught a crappie once and a walleye once. Both of them were pretty small. Mm. Mm -hmm. And all the times we fished both of those, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Uh Uh-huh. Like I had no idea what they were because I only caught sunfish we didn't ever even catch bass sure yep so it was just like you're you're, all we would catch is sunfish because we're just fishing random same 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 same. yeah yeah and it's just crazy to me to think back on that where like those two fish were so rare Uh uh-huh and now i'm like what if you guys want some walleye for dinner or like yeah if we really want to catch those i can go and try to catch those Right. right i walleye are harder Right. I can't guarantee any of it, but I know where to go and what to do to catch them. Right. When back then it was like once a year, uh-huh. we might go, oh, look at what the hell did we catch? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Weird shit. Yeah. It's funny to think about. Here's the surprise. Yeah, Here's to- a big surprise for me, Tim. Yeah. Number eight West Okaboji Lake in Iowa. In Iowa. Iowa. I yeah. I didn't think there was anything in Iowa. And all of a sudden, fucking number eight, West Okaboji Lake comes in at a number eight. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh yeah. I had no idea Iowa even had fishing. (laughs) Yep. I know Okaboji. You do? The name's Mm -hmm. familiar. Like Okaboji sounds familiar. I assume there was one here in our state in Minnesota. Mm, I don't think so. But yeah, I mean, I you as somebody who fishes this area just kind of knows stuff. I, I'm sure you knew this lake. I, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I know Okaboji. Yep. Um, so here's some numbers that they had in there to, as it's like, you know, here's the case of why this is number eight. Pretty much it said that five fish bag tournament again. Yeah. 
close to 20 pounds is looking to be a common thing. So if you think okay. about what happened, the number number four is Malax, where it was like, you know, 20 pound bags were, were happening. This is four down from that in Iowa. And they're just like, this lake is like growing. We can see the potential. Try it. Try it in 2024. Watch this tournament pop 20 as a as a common thing in this tournament. But already this year, this one did have a good one for 2024. 6.2 pounder. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. The state record in that uh, didn't come out of that lake, but the state record in Iowa is 10.75 um, from 1984. So, hey, okay. this lake specifically is getting some six pounders going and sounding like it's a consistent thing. That's why this made the list. And it's just like, Did it's that consistent those? action that you were talking about. I think that's really yeah bumping these lakes up, you know? Oh, yeah. Did you say those are smallmouth? Uh, it didn't actually say, uh, okay. not, I don't know. I don't remember Cause I, saying. Cause I think that lake is very similar to like Malax. Like they got walleye and stuff in there too. Mm, mm-hmm. yeah. The photo looked dope, dude. It was like a, there was like a fair going on and there was oh, really? a bunch of, yeah, there was a fair going on at the shoreline. So there was like a bunch of boats pulling up and leaving and there was like a concert going on and a fucking Ferris wheel. And I swear there was a roller coaster, but I'm probably just putting that on in my memory. Uh, yeah, it looked fucking, the photo was cool. It looked like a jumping spot. And then to know that it's a good fishing place too, it's like, huh? Yeah. That yeah. It looks like. Just based off of Google search, real quick, it looks like they got big both. Oh, big smallmouth and large. Yeah, mouth. so that twenty pound bag could be mixed, and oh yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Nope, which I think is probably the same for the the Malax, the Saint. Oh, Saint up in should, yeah the yeah, yeah Saint Lawrence River. I got gotcha. you, Saint Lawrence. So I couldn't. <laughs> My brain was just saying so many different saints. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no. St. Vincent, no. St. Valentine, St. Patrick, all the big saints. Yeah. yeah, there's one that's, I don't even know what it's from, but it was like St. Francis of Azizi or some shit like that. <laughs> Shut, stop, that's not it. Stop. <laughs> Before we wrap this up, Tim, because this is going to be a loud podcast with the intro. Uh, mm, mm-hmm. Before we wrap this one up, I took the top 25 and I did some math because I was just like, all right, but where did we fall? Because I was really curious, just where did Minnesota land in in the central zone, right? Yeah. Tied for fourth place. So I'll say some numbers and it doesn't add up. (laughs) Oh, Because out of 25, this only adds to 23, but that's because there were two that were border lakes. Oh. So they split a state. So I just cut them out of the running. Got you. Split, split, uh, split a zone. Split a zone. Yeah. So here it is. The tw- the top twenty five central zone broke down like this: Texas five out of twenty five. That's, that's good. Louisiana came in at number two with four. Oh, I guess if you go like this, we're actually tied for third. Uh Texas number one, five lakes. Louisiana. Four lakes, Oklahoma, also four lakes, which I was, damn, Oklahoma's a good place to go fishing? Yeah. Again, no idea. Most, yeah, most of those southern states. Really? Yeah. I'm just, those southern states got the big old largemouth down there. Right. And so it's just, it's just good. Yep. Yeah. Once there's just like a certain point where you just start getting into big largemouth. Right. And if it has, yeah, yeah. I, I just think of, it's just, I just think of Oklahoma is so dry and, you know, like it has this perception of just being like dry farmland and like, yeah, there's, there's stuff there. You just got to go experience it. You know, that's what it boils down to is like, there's a certain view that's cast and, you know, you can stereotype an area, but until you dive into it, you don't know. <laughs> no, you don't know. Uh, one, two, three. Three of us in third place will say 
Minnesota, Arkansas, and Missouri. Missouri's got the Ozarks and that shit down there. So that got them on there. Yeah. Illinois had one. I was like, damn, what? Uh, I did count this one, (laughs) the Dakotas, because it was in North and South Dakota Lake. And I'm like, the Dakotas are just one state. (laughs) <laughs> right <laughs> yep uh wisconsin had one and it was mississippi oh yeah. it was the river yep. it was yep it was uh, the elite and uh we heard that from the people on the stage you remember that pros were like oh yeah pros were pumped to be there yeah you they were tell. like w- yeah they were like we will come back here they were like i can't wait to fish this again yeah it was cool yeah. i remember looking at it like damn dude that looks dope yeah and it was the same thing of like what we were talking about with the first river, just being like, you could just do whatever you want. Yeah. Like whatever feels comfortable or like whatever you want, feel like doing that day. There were yep. just options. You could just see it just by being there. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like that one, that Takaito one, mm-hmm. that was like, everybody had to fish spinning rigs. They were all fishing finesse baits. Mm. Nobody had a choice. Mm. Like you either you either do this or you don't mm. and that's the end of it gotcha you know yeah yeah so i think like a lot of guys like that to be able to do whatever they want to do right that choice that more of a yeah yeah plus i mean who doesn't want to do that where i think it makes it more challenging too where when you yeah. have yeah. all the options oh. what do you choose what to narrow down to, and how to narrow it down yeah. quickly as, as a pro in a tournament how do you yep. narrow down the te- yep narrowing down what to technique catch, and everything? I I yeah. got gotcha. you. Yeah, to catch the most big fish mm-hmm. when you know everybody's putting tanks in the boat. Right, right. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, crazy. So yeah, Iowa and yeah. Illinois there they also had one, um, but uh, that's and we talked about the Iowa one because again, <laughs> just like Oklahoma, I'm like fuck is down there corn nothing, right. <laughs> All right, man. That's it. Let's wrap up this fishing topic. We're gonna just try to keep rolling into this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're we're gonna try to keep rolling right into. We're gonna take a short break. Remember, no 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 sponsors, no Patreon, nothing that here in the break. We just take a little break, split your mind uh, off of the fishing topic, and get into the random take. So I'm not even gonna say what it is. I'm just gonna. Go right into it because I know we're both getting tired. And yeah, yeah. I saw dude. that yawn and I was like, all right, I got this. You it's know what? Right. <laughs> I'm just going to make the cut and post and we're just going to keep fucking rolling. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's hit the break. Welcome back to the Real AFTV podcast show about fishing random takes. Like you've made it to the random take and Tim, I just. Uh, let's talk about fucking pro wrestling, dude. Yeah, fucking him. <laughs> fucking him. He means it, folks. The Undertaker means it. His mouth is dirtier than a wicker toilet seat. <laughs> what the shit? Um, Who the fuck? What the so fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I I venture guess. All right, so wicker is <laughs> like wo- wo- woven wood. Woven wood. And I would assume that if you were sitting on that, it would get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. But yeah, that does sound disgusting. Like a toilet seat is like this clean, smooth thing that you can just wipe off, and then everybody's bare ass is sitting on this cavernous <laughs> yeah. weaved. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I it sounded gross too. And now you're diving into it and I'm like, Oh yeah. Uh, uh, ick. <laughs> what did they say? His mouth is dirtier. Mouth is dirtier than a wicker toilet. His mouth is dirtier. His mouth is dirtier than the wind. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> the King Jerry Lawler. No. 
That was the other guy. No, Jerry said the wicker toilet seat. The mouth is serious uh, is the other guy. Here, Did watch he, this. Hold on. Jerry? Yeah. It, the Undertaker means it. His mouth is dirtier than a wicker toilet seat. You were right. You were right. <laughs> yep, the king. Jim Ross was doing the other. Yeah, Jim Ross. Yep. Yeah. Your mouth is dirtier than a wicker toilet seat. What the shit? <laughs> what are you talking about, Jerry? What the fuck are you talking about, Jerry? <laughs> Jerry the King Lawler. What a odd dude. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird, weird. Yeah, I was watching to get that soundbite. I was watching some highlights and yeah. I forgot about like the puppies of the days of Raw and like the 90, like that late 90s, early 2000s, where he was just like, always just talking about the chick's titties being puppies. <laughs> yeah, dude. And it was just... Yeah, he would always call them puppies. Yeah. Oh, puppies! Yeah, and he yeah, was always was just so worked up about it. I'm like, oh my God, dude. That does... That bit doesn't work today. <laughs> no. It only worked then no. because we were watching it and we are like 12. We we're like, oh yeah, he likes boobies too. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> i know back then it was like we were kids too so when he was doing that weird shit we're like ah, weirdo yeah like well yeah puppies i like yep. puppies and you talk to your friends you see those puppies <laughs> and then now you're like 100 percent, dude look back on it you're like damn that was weird huh yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know I'm going to bring video games up here, but before I do that, uh, John Cena's retiring from wrestling, and I was like, oh, shit. And it made me think, I'm like, oh, wait, John Cena is like how WWE Disneyed up. And, I, and then I thought, wait a minute. Are you guys into wrestling? Because it's like, I feel like John Cena is your son's, like, Right now is when your son's supposed to start going, you can't see me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Prince John Cena's retiring. Oh, I wonder if they know. I wonder if he's, I wonder if your family even knows it all or gives a shit. I know that John Cena is retiring because me and my wife just watched Fast X. Ah. And he popped into the movie yep. and she's like, do you know he's retiring? <laughs> and I just, I immediately just said, doesn't mean shit. <laughs> and she's just like, yep. why? And I'm just yep. like, yep. because that's what they do. Yep. I, so like they all retire and then they all come back. And then back. they all come back. He's Hulk is still wrestling go. for some fucking how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's just acting or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> They'll come back. It happens. Yeah. He's Rick just going to Jay-Z this motherfucker. And he, in, yeah, exactly. Like, all of them. Rick Fair. Yep. Rick Flair yep. quit and came back. Yep. Sting quit and came back. Yep. Uh The Rock quit for quite a while. Yep. He's like active right now in the like storyline. Oh, is he's he? A heel now. Dude, he's a heel now. He's like a bad guy. Oh shit. I didn't know yeah. that. <clears throat> yeah, That's surprising like given the like other things that he's doing outside of like he has that um men's healthcare line. That's all like healthy, the rock fucking oh um, yeah it's at target it's like palm yeah. pori or something like that yeah i don't know i know what you're talking but about, it's all like but you know, know his like called. take care of yourself kind of that that <clears throat> side of the rock <clears throat> right yeah yeah man i so it's surprising to see him just go in as a heel that's all I'm, it's yeah. not gonna fucking ruin his brand at all anyway i mean he's the fucking rock dude mm -hmm. he's good he's good now well Plus, it doesn't mean what it used to. Right. Everybody knows that it's like scripted now. Right. Yeah. And that like if you're a heel, like because he'll turn around and like the next day we'll be like laughing at something stupid and talking about, you know, something with uh, Kevin Hart. And they'll just be like cracking jokes and sure. making fun of each other. Yep. And then he's on his Instagram all the time. Talking about his uh vod or his uh tequila. tequila. Yeah. Terramana. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I forget. I just know he did a tequila. Yep. It's good. Yeah. It's good shit. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, keep like... it. I'll keep an out look out for it. Yeah. I'm not a big tequila guy, but you know, if it's, I'll take a sample. I, w- I wasn't, but I've been getting into Yeah. It Cause more. you like Clooney's too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Casamigos. Ah, that's a good name. I don't know what it means. It sounds yeah. like house of my friends. Clooney's is Casamigos. And there's so many different, when you look into it, there's so many different celebrities yeah. that have alcohol. Oh yeah. It's, it's crazy. Super crazy. <laughs> yeah. And some of them where you're just like, huh? You know, like it'll just be like some random thing. And they're just like, yeah, that's this guy in cahoots with this. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I didn't even know you were famous enough to have an alcohol. That's weird. (laughs) Just like D-list celebrities can have alcohols. Doozy hard seltzer. Yeah, doozy. Well, that one, the AI is just like, (laughs) I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, doozy. That's... And speaking of doozy, uh, Will Sasso always talks about The Rock because he's a big wrestling fan. Yeah, that's also yeah. why I wanted to bring this up is because like, uh, like I, when I was a kid, it was big. You know, like we, we used to play the wrestling games and stuff like that. I know, uh, and and uh, so many podcasters now. It's like we went through that phase. Of like they were like us, you know, they're the same age as us. They got our podcast now or whatever, a little bit older than us. And they liked it then. And then it seems like they never talked about it. And like now it's okay to talk about it again because like the curtain has fallen. And like, yeah. okay, everybody knows they're just acting. They're they're stunt men that right. have a storyline. I'm watching it again. And everybody's talking about it again, but you also throw back, like oh so, sorry, sorry. So what Will Sass, so yeah. He's a big wrestling guy still. Oh, he he just always like uh, with The Rock. Mm-hmm. He's always doing his different impressions and stuff. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. And it's, he's an impression it's called, comedy. Yeah. And he's called Terramana, but he always calls it Tramana. Okay. He's like, Tramana. <laughs> Tramana. <laughs> and then but he'll talk about like, then he started just calling everything that he's talking about as The Rock, like putting the tra in front of it. And he's like, Tramarawana. <laughs> <laughs> just, just dumb. I don't know. But he does all the different stuff. He does Stone Cold and he does Damn. the Macho Man. He does all of them really good. And he, back in the day, was on, uh, I think it was WWF when it was going on still. Yeah, I was just going to say did. that. Wasn't he on one of them? I, can't, yeah. I was going to say ECW, but that was extreme, right? Like that was like... Right, they were doing the barbed yeah. wires and the fireworks like every fucking night. Yeah, yeah, that one was crazy. Yeah, but it was so definitely it W. It was definitely WWE or WWF, but I think it was just WWF at the time. At the time, yeah, because of, yeah, oh yeah, for sure it was because it was Stone Cold. I don't think it was WWE until after Stone Cold. But His he would do go. the Stone. Yeah, he would do Stone Cold impressions, and then oh, Stone Cold came out. That's and was right. Just like, don't do that. Yeah, I don't. Sign. And Will's just like, oh, okay, okay. Right, so, <laughs> sorry, I think he got and stunnered he, even. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah he he was pretty pretty stoked about it. I think he's wrestled a couple different times. Really? So he yeah he was on there quite a bit. That's cool. But yeah, he's he's a big wrestling fan. Uh, one of the episodes of Doozy, like he brings out all of his different action figures from back in the day. And oh stuff. no way, dude. Yeah. And they opened um, some cards live on air, like where like WWE think, has cards now. Yeah, cards now, but some of the old ones too. And they pulled like old the like Hulk Hogan rookie card or whatever. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, no yeah. way. Yeah, pretty cool shit. Where they like pulled it because they they opened it. It was like kind of old school ones that like come with the bubble gum. No way. <laughs> yeah, and Will starts eating the bubble gum. Oh. And it's like that's like 30-year-old bubble gum. Ew. It was <laughs> yeah. shitty when it was fresh. <laughs> I know. And he starts talking about it. He's like, I should have done that. He's like, it looked like it had black spots. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, you shouldn't have done that. You definitely shouldn't have done that, dude. <laughs> it's like, funny, but not a good move to go. Right. But yeah. So did you did you watch a lot of wrestling when you were a kid oh yeah dude it was my dad's soap opera oh yeah oh yeah nice. i had like 
a pillow that I wrestled. I had a fucking oh, yeah. Batman from the fair oh, yeah. that was filled with those little styrofoam beads and wires. Yep. Yeah. Wrestled that thing, dude. I used to put that thing in a figure four leg lock all the time because it actually had Hell limbs. Yeah. yeah, nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was always uh about suplexing. I still do it. I suplex my son. Is that the I, is that the one where you do like the like the eagle flying eagle thing on no, your shoulders? No, this one's where like you put your hand, your arm over the back of their head. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you put their arm over your head, and then you yep. grab them by the belt, and you go like up. And oh over. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that's because there's like a belly to belly suplex, move. and there's a belly to black, the belly to back suplex. I forget what that one's called. That one might be just like a a superplex, or maybe the superplex is that same suplex, but you put them on the top rope. Oh you know? right. Yeah. Yep. They they go they're about to jump off the top rope and you gotta hit one of their foot so they fall onto their nuts and they go, ooh, and then you punch them a couple times in the head. <laughs> and then you get them into the suplex and then you do the suplex from the top rope. I think that's called the superplex. Uh yeah. But I used to do it to I used to do it to my cat Dasher too. <laughs> I call it yes. I call it the kitty plex. Yep. I get them there and I get them in there and go kitty. I remember this. Butt, butt, butt. I mean, I go, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he talk about it if cat. I remember correct. He would just like play along. He'd just kind of like land, and I'd stand there for a while. He just kind of like he. A lot of times, he'd like give you like a meow. He kind of like roll him <laughs> over, and he'd just be like, "You want some more?" He'd just be like, meow. <laughs> "Just give you a little, just give you a little." Noise. But as you were going through the motions, he just let it happen, like. Oh yeah, for the most part, yeah. he was pretty laid back. Yeah, yeah. You just be like, you want some of this, and you kind of like walk into you, and he'd do that. He wasn't asking for you to like suplex him, but he'd do that thing where they'd like put their head on you, know, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. And kind of like that, go, meow, and that, like, that ear rub or whatever the fuck it is. Head in. Yeah, and as soon as he got his head, kind of came in. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got, you. got you, bro. Got you sleeping, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> dude but so i remember uh me and my dad would always watch we didn't have cable so mm, mm-hmm. at my house i always watched the shitty version of these two you know because wcw is pretty big yeah. but i didn't get like the wcw nitro which yeah. was like the nighttime one and yep. then the monday nighttime. night raw was the big one for wwf back yep. then Yep. But we would always watch the like Sunday after or Saturday, Saturday morning after. one. Yeah. I think yeah, it might dude. Have Saturday morning one. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember I remember that. Remember, like I had I remember like I had my favorites and like that was the only one I was watching. And uh-huh. then like other people would, you know, be talking about their right wrestlers, and I'd just be like, I really like uh Brian Pullman or whatever. <laughs> And they're just like, who the fuck is that guy? And he's just like, nah, he's pretty good. And then and he would, he's, he's pretty good. And everyone else is like, the Undertaker's the fucking shit, dude. You see? <laughs> yeah. It was totally like the the no name guys, too. Uh-huh. And they were like, oh, and those guys. 100%. Some comedian has a joke about it. He's oh, like, really? You know, some of those guys were just fucked. He's like, <laughs> Where they only had like one name and they were already in the ring. <laughs> like the yep. one guy's coming. They were already in the ring. Yep. Yeah. And then they're just <laughs> like, and then they, they're about to start and they just show and the guy like looks at the camera as he's like warming up and it just says like Jim and he's like yep. bouncing <laughs> off the ropes. He's <laughs> just says Jim. <laughs> he's like, oh, those, you know, those guys were going <laughs> to, it yep. wasn't going well for those guys. Right, right. Yeah. And so we would we would watch that one and then later on like closer to like high school times there was one i think on sunday night that was wwf mm-hmm. but that one i always remembered was like the shittiest the i hated the gimmicks that were on there oh really sometimes well cuz i remember that a lot of times they always had like the girls on there and you're like, that's oh, yeah. what I'm talking about. Yep. If you're not going to have the good wrestlers on here, at least have the hot chicks. Right. So we're watching that and stuff. But then they would always have 
ah, oh, there's that that big ass black guy that had a blonde mohawk, and his name started with a V, and he wore like this oh shiny trench coat. Uh huh. I mean, he had to have been like six hundred pounds. Yeah, shit, he was big. I and it was a he, weird name. Did he have sunglasses on all the time? Ooh, I don't think he had sunglasses. Oh, okay, I, I can't remember. Like I can picture him though, context. but I cannot fucking remember his name. Because I wanted yeah, to say I, Vader right away, but Vader was uh, Vader was a big redhead white guy with a funny mask. Yeah, yeah, he was. Oh man! But yeah. Uh, Anyways, what were you? Where were you going? You're just saying oh, like that here, dude was viscera, the shit. viscera. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I didn't like any of those guys. They all had this like creepy gothic vibe on that <laughs> night show. <laughs> that they was the gimmicks the, you're talking about that you didn't like. Yeah, they had yeah. they had the they had the brood. Yeah. Which was like Edge and Christian. Yep. And I guess those guys became pretty big names. And I think it was earlier on. They did, yeah. But then they also had that other dude um that had like the long, like curly blonde hair and it always looked wet. Yeah. And it would be like this creepy kind of music and they'd come down and then he'd get into the corner and he'd just kind of like stare at everybody. And I remember it always took yeah. like a good two minutes to start a match and he'd like sip like the fake blood. The fake blood. Like yeah. Sp- I forget. Spray it out. Yep. Get up on the corner. And do that fake yeah. blood thing. Yeah. 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 They, they were, that's that. right. They were going for some weird dark shit there. Yeah. They were like these weird vampire things. And I'm just like, uh-huh. I don't like any of this. Yeah. I, I have vague memories of it, but I don't remember names or anything like that, except for Edge and Christian, because they actually did, I think they became a tag team and got out of that goth thing and then yeah, became I like, think so. they kind of became part of the new school. Like, new, yeah. Remember DX? Yeah. Did you get to see them at all? Oh, dude. DX. So I got to see that stuff because I would go over Gangrel. I re- yep, that's who it is. That that yep, dude. Gangrel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he annoyed me. And the the other two were just kind of like had like the long blonde hair, so it worked. But Gangrel had like the legit like vampire teeth and he wore that yep that pole fluffy shirt yeah look like a vampire and just like i didn't like that dude no me neither and i just i really don't like it like i don't know why but there's something wrong with me like when a dude sticks out his tongue i'm just like (laughs) i don't want to don't do that and he did it every match after he like spit blood out of his mouth and i'm like Ugh. yeah and he would sometimes he spit in people's faces like that'd be part yeah, of it and, and i'm like, like oh that is so yeah. gross we just had like a bunch of hot chicks out here and now we got to deal with you and you're weird that was the other guy that thing? was on that like uh he would bring out the hose Remember the pimpin' ain't easy guy? Pimpin' ain't easy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and, he, and he come out with his hose. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they had some wild stuff that I don't think would fly anymore. No. It's funny. That but, was in the uh, highlight reel that I was talking. I'm like, why is why yeah. are they calling him hose? Like, it can't do that. What? Yeah, no, he was. And then I and now that you're saying it, I remember it all because the announcers would call them hose. Yeah. And that was Whoa. one of the guys that like the the uh king would get all excited about yep. oh here comes the homes of the puppies <laughs> 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 so fucking weird <laughs> it's so weird yeah he was so excited about it like you never seen him before <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> but uh i would see um the d generation x and stuff the monday was it was nitro also monday night yeah, they went at it there for a while. Monday Night Raw, yeah, Monday so Night Nitro like were night. the competing. Yeah, some nights, some Monday nights, I would go uh, across the street to my neighbor's house. Ah. And he was always watching it. So I would just be like, can I just spend the night over here? But those shows always started so late. They did. Uh huh. And my parents were always just like, it's a Monday. It's a school night. You got to go to bed. Yep. And I'm like, 
you don't understand. You don't They're <laughs> wrestling for the Intercontinental Championship. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the line tonight. It's tonight. It's going Mom. Oh. In a ladder match. <laughs> Mom. In a ladder match. In a ladder match. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they had, that was definitely like my era that, you know, our era, the, yeah. the D generation X. Yep. And I remember, I remembered all the different intros and stuff. And then you have the, I mean, that was when the whole world that was into it recited every word of Jesse James thing that, cause that was his name, right? I know it was the road dog. Is it? Oh yeah. The road, road dog, dog Jesse, Jesse James. James. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He, the people, everybody was saying that shit walking around school. All of a sudden you hear somebody just go, yo ass better call somebody. <laughs> that's right. That's what <laughs> yeah. it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he'd, ha- he'd have his whole spiel. Uh-huh. He'd be like, the badass Billy Gunn, the road dog, Jelly, Jesse James. Yep. <laughs> the whole spiel. Yep. And then oh, Shawn Michaels came in and yeah. like set that whole DX thing on fire. Yep. yep. And somebody would just be walking around. And you just hear it constantly back then all of a sudden somebody would just it would be like the the call and answer uh-huh. somebody just oh you didn't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep and then somebody your last better yeah. call somebody <laughs> yep and then then people like across the mall don't even know each other yep yep you know, <laughs> <he knows. laughs> but yeah dude oh, that shit, shit dude. the degeneration x they were all like Jumping around and being crazy and doing the the freaking X suck, suck it. it. Yep. Dude, I remember, like, I still remember there was one time because that came out when we were like relatively young. Oh yeah, we were young. I still way remember too young going, to be doing suck it with an X yeah, across your yeah. crotch. That's for sure. Right. I remember very clearly going to a Timberwolves game and getting so pissed off at the refs. And everybody was mad at the refs. Uh And for a second, a thought crossed my mind when the crowd calmed down that I should have been like, hey, refs, suck it. (laughs) I wanted wanted to do it. That would have been the best, just like a 13-year-old kid in the crowd. (laughs) fucking. (laughs) And I don't know if like some people would have been like amped on it or whatever. Like I decided not to do it. But I'm so glad that I didn't because I don't think I would have ever lived it down. I feel like I probably right, would have right. got crickets. And people would have just been like, real cool, nice parenting. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and I just would have been like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. so glad I didn't do it because I'm like, I still remember that shit. Right. Like, like you remember I, having I, that thought so vividly where you were like already starting to stand dude, up. When I do stupid shit, I don't let it go. It's in the back of my head uh, always. Something jogs yes. the memory, and I go, oh, I can't believe I did that. Uh huh. To the point where, like, I still have the memory of almost doing something stupid. Right, right. <laughs> no. Yeah. These are the things that, like, we've we've never talked about as friends, but that is why we just, like, get each other because we have the exact same brain like that (laughs) yeah yeah. like i was driving home yesterday i just got off work and all of a sudden i started thinking of something that i was embarrassed about that happened fucking 15 years ago and i'm like yeah i hate it yeah and it bugs you and it brings you down yeah oh it totally i hate it you're like having a good day yep you're just like nip 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 and then like what about that one time you did that stupid shit you go yeah yeah i know fuck i know brain i'm not i'm not proud of it that was dumb yeah I actually yeah. have that on my uh, on our list of things to to talk about as as like a full topic because <laughs> trust mm-hmm. we can go in <laughs> right and we're not alone either. Oh, Kyle Kinane has stand up nope. about it. We're not alone. Where he's like, I every thought day I totally totally thought up. it was weird and yeah. unique, and it's just yeah. like, no, oh, people do this. No, nope. Kyle Kinane has stand up about it, and he's like, every day I'm waking up and I'm just going down this highway, and it's a everything's seeming to be good and then every billboard coming by is just another bad memory where i'm just like it's gonna be a good day and then the billboard's like oh yeah what about that one time you dropped that brick on that frog (laughs) (laughs) 
when you were seven. <laughs> like, right. It's like exactly. that far back. Here's a 37 year old man having this fucking thought. Right. <laughs> right. Fuck. Just like, oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. I totally have those. Yeah. Totally have a, lo- a bunch oh, of that shit. Right. Not like a bunch of like murdering animals, but <laughs> just a bunch of. Yeah. Bunch clear of, that part up quick. Right, yeah, I got you. Of, <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. It, yeah. It was funny. Just very funny. It's funny parallel timing to the story you just told. Right. As, soon, as soon as I say it, I go, whoa. Well, I mean, uh, not the, the hindsight- whole like murdering a bunch of yeah. animals thing, but. <laughs> In hindsight, once you hear it out loud, you're just like, no, maybe people could misconstrue what I said there. Because I did talk about killing animals, and then I said I did that a bunch. So probably should clear that up real quick. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that's yeah. so good. So, uh, yeah. You had, you had the video games? Yeah. So I wanted to talk about video games a little bit, because this is actually what brought it up. Like, I saw the John Cena trending John Cena retiring trending. And then I was like, dude, that's right. Every fucking night when this is on, it trends. It trends on Google, it trends on um on uh Twitter. It like it fucking takes over. Every night it's on. People are still yeah. talking like it's bigger than it's ever been, probably. And like we just talked about how we were so into it as kids. Yeah. And it's just like, dude, it's it's like it's big. Oh, it's yeah. so surprising. And we've talked about how we played the video games a little bit. Um, God, it was it it was original PlayStation, right? Where we would like make people. Yeah, dude. I so I was trying to find there was one game that I used to play all the time that had Hulk Hogan in it. Oh, no way. But the rest of them were all like Japanese guys. Whoa. That were people I've never heard of. Really? And like Hulk Hogan was like the main draw, but it was very technical. Like it had all the different moves and it was like slightly different variations of the other ones. It wasn't like, here's your one leg lock. It was like just a giant move list of all these different things. Really? That you could do. Yeah, it was, it Whoa. was cool. So the wrestling games were super fun to me because when you're playing those games, those games aren't scripted like the other shit you know right there's a health bar you have to do your moves to take him out yeah you really are slamming these people to try to knock them out yeah it's and a really to, weird like, fighting game <laughs> yeah it is weird and for whatever reason like it just everything works you could throw them off the the rope yeah and they'll come back to you <laughs> over the <laughs> like, top like, rope yeah. like get them out of the ring oh yeah shit, it's so cool yeah yeah dude and then you're doing like your special moves and stuff and you could try to do some missions and all the different stuff. It was like I thoroughly enjoyed wrestling games. Yeah. They were fun. When like while we were fighting. watching, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. I remember trying to make like a whole squad, like a DX or an NWO or something like that in mm. the creative character. Just like, oh, I'm making my own squad. I have no fucking clue what I called them or anything like no, that. But right. I remember making all the different create created characters because I had uh what uh, uh shit Warzone. Oh yeah. It was called Warzone. Yeah. WWF Warzone. It had Stone Cold on the front. And you could put, you know, you make your own created character and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I remember like going online when it used to take forever. Yeah. And then you go and find it and you print out your instructions or whatever. Oh, yeah. Because you're like, I'm going to need this for later. Cheat CC. And, and then you print out fucking three yeah, pages. Cheat CC. <laughs> print out all the different pages and you go in there. Yeah, that was one of the games where it was just like everybody cheated because yeah. the cheats were just to make your characters all weird and shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like <laughs> and big head mode or whatever the fuck yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah, you're just doing all the moves and you just got a giant head. You're like, hell yeah. <laughs> Make yourself giant head and you're just like, I'm doing a flying headbutt from the top rope with this guy for <laughs> sure. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh, that's great. Uh, I remember printing off like characters that weren't in the game and then somebody else had made them and create a character 
and it gave you like the blueprint to make them. Oh, like no put way. these shorts on, put this color here, yeah. this saturation will get you these colored shorts and all this other stuff and like choose this hair. That's good. And then when you get them done, it was it was okay. Sometimes you get it through and then you're just like looking at them. Oh wait, I think that guy. I think I did that too, where it was like, here's how you can make Scorpion in WWE Warzone or oh. WWF Warzone. You know? Yeah. Like you would tr- I'd try to make other yeah, like other characters. Yeah, like I was that. trying to make like old characters. Yeah. Because they had some cool old like I, you're trying to make like I, fucking Hacksaw Jim Duggan and shit. Yeah, Hacksaw was just like pants. He's nobody. Yeah, he doesn't count. Like Jimmy Snooker or something. Nah, I was trying to make Doink the Clown. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, I used to have I used to have uh that was back in the day when you would like get your magazines and stuff too. Yeah. And I used to have wrestling magazines. Like we would go Oh damn, at, you went deep. So well, Donna May was was the campground that we had, and they would always have like this little magazine rack. Oh yeah, this is the one and where you saw that, like your first graphic yeah. novel, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, like graphic, uh, a comic book. Yeah, graphic. Yeah, graphic in yep. the sense of like has some violence in it that actually yep. came through. Yep. Yeah, so I would get that, and I would get there. They had have a video game one, and I would get that. I remember I have some place I. I'm sure I don't have it anymore, but I remember I had a video game magazine that had a sneak peek, like still images of the upcoming Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> yeah, so it was like old that original that was, Mortal Kombat yeah, movie. Yeah, original. <laughs> Seeing Sonya and stuff in there, and I'm like, oh damn, dude, she's so hot. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> now you see her, you're like, she's so. So average, yeah. She's not. She was she's fine. wearing just like a. She's fine. Like a. But yeah, she was just wearing like a nineties like jumpsuit, jumpsuit. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh damn, dude, look at that chick. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> like when you see later, you're just like, god damn, when you're a kid. <laughs> it doesn't take much. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I just like a full grown lady I can stare at and nobody can see me staring at her and she can't tell me not to yep, stare at her. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Fucking boys suck, dude. We're the worst. So fucking weird and creepy and dumb. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> But uh, so I had that, and then um, uh, you know, like you'd only have so many magazines in a month or whatever. Right. Sometimes they didn't have. I don't know where they got their shit from, but like I get the WWF ones and just go look at all of them. And sometimes they'd have like different stickers and stuff. And I remember that one was just like when you're flipping through there, they had the lady wrestlers, and the lady wrestlers yeah. were always never wearing much. Right. No, the that one I was like. Oh shit! shit look at yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that was my first att- on fifty six k. That was my first attempt to look at hot chicks on the internet. Looking up the oh, yeah. like, I think it was the Nitro chicks or something. I can't remember. It might have been. Oh yeah, WWF launching their divas for the first time or something. Okay, and I remember trying to look that up on fifty six k. It's the fucking yeah. worst. <laughs> So hard, I'm, so impossible. Uh, trying to keep people out of the computer room, just like I'm not doing anything in here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it sucks so bad. Just like loaded, like half a picture is like loaded. Uh-huh. Somebody's coming in, you're trying to like click out of it quick. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, shit, 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 you can see that she's only wearing a sports bra. Fuck, 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 fuck. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, what are you looking at? It's just wrestling. I didn't know it was gonna be a picture of her. I was trying to look at it like Hulk Hogan or wrestle. I put I typed in wrestling. Yeah, just typed in wrestling, <laughs> and this photo popped up. <laughs> She's a wrestler. I wasn't even trying to look at her though. It was weird. I don't know how that happened. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, man, I had that. I had that war zone, and I would try to make different people. And remember trying to make yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always. I could never make it so it looked like me. <laughs> I am. Always... I'm just generic white guy. So every time it worked <laughs> for me, every time. Nice. <laughs> nice. It just worked. I was just uh, white guy. And then I was able to grow yeah. a goatee when I was like 14. 
So oh yeah, that helped. You're just X Pac. You're just X Pac with short hair. With short- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you nailed it, dude. <laughs> oh fuck, yeah. that's so good. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we clip that one out or something. Fuck, that was good. Oh, okay. Before we wrap, I have to bring up the thing that made me dive down because I was like, you know, I was thinking about you, uh, you and your son, and I was like, you know, it was John Cena, yeah. you should he's at that age where he should be going, you can't see me. Oh yeah. And and then I remembered how much you guys um play brawlers. Like you play side scroll oh, yeah. beat 'em ups, right? And I was yep. like, oh, what? Dude, is there a WWE, now WWE, side scroller? Because that, yeah. dude, that could work. I, I can see how, I can see like storylines and like walking through a stadium or something, you know, like I, I just see the, there's like, there seems potential there. And now that you said it, a throwback with like the Sunday wrestlers. Yeah. And you're like, you know, you're you're the main quest. So like you're a bigger wrestler and you just go through and all the like foot clan, for lack of a better just to use the terms, uh the turtle terms. All yeah. the foot clan are fucking Jim who's already in the ring. You know what I'm saying? It's just right, right, yeah. Generic guys yeah. in tights and boots. Yep. They all have names though. Yeah. Uh, just random. Uh just Yep. Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to have like a I suppose, yeah, because there was other street brawler type ones. Yeah, yeah. I we talked about it here uh, before. Yeah. Oh yeah. That Sonic Blast Man, <laughs> which is such a weird fucking right, name. Right. Right. But that guy was like half robot, half professional. Wrestler. I don't know what the yeah part. <laughs> he was <laughs> half he was man, like half bear, that, half pig. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, he looked like a guy that was wearing like. Like a Optimus Prime cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Made out of cardboard. <laughs> it's painted up real he nice. Would just, he would just beat up random. I mean, every level had like its own bad guy, but the first or like set of bad guys, but the first level was like all dudes. There was like four different kinds, but mm, each mm-hmm. bad guy was like a regular dude that was just coming up to you. Oh, sure. And you could totally just do that. Yeah. Just have de- generic muscle guys. Yeah. Streets of Rage is like of... that. I mean, they have oh, yeah. just a different variety of dudes. Yeah. Just put some random ass backstory. Yeah. On you got to get to here to do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. They had one. So there was one. Yeah. Yeah. There was one. I so I did, I did all this research <laughs> and I'm like, come on, come on, this is prime. Like this is, this has an opportunity here. WWF yeah. betrayal. Guess the console. Just take a guess. It's in the nineties. It's from the WWF era. It's from the era when we were kids watching it. Super Nintendo. Oh, you're close. GB color. What the fuck? Game Boy color. Oh, it was a Game okay. Boy Color game. And that's why I said you're close with Super Nintendo because you remember the Superboy? Yeah. And you plug it in. And that's why I was like, yep, you're right in the you're right yeah. in there. Yeah. But it ended up being Game Boy Color and it was a side scroller where Stephanie gets kidnapped or some shit. <laughs> Stephanie McMahon gets kidnapped and yeah. you're supposed to go fucking save her. And- oh, I'm very familiar. I think I had a bigger crush on Stephanie than half of the girls. In the WWF. <laughs> she was like my type. Yeah. I like that brunette. And she would come out. Every, I remember there was like one time where she got like her suit coat like ripped off or whatever. And I was like, damn, look at them Pup- puppies. puppies. <laughs> 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 yeah. Because I, I don't know. Weird. Some of the other... Some of the other girls just weren't my style. I remember some of the guys were just like, they were always talking about that Stacy Keebler because they're like, look at those legs. And I was just like, I don't know. She's fine. Yeah. You know, just that's just not my thing. I was into Stacy for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not. 
Well, I mean, she kind of like fits your build for video games too. Because Sarah from Virtua Fighter yep. is like a tall, leggy blonde. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Maybe that's where it all have, came from. Maybe that's how I ended up getting. <laughs> I did. I definitely didn't have a problem with Stacy. Oh no, no, I know. I, know, I, I, I feel, it was just I yeah. Feel, yeah I feel, that was just. I know what you're saying. Yeah, her and like Trish Trish Stratus. Yep. I like her, but yep. Trish um, some of the girls nowadays. Have you seen what the hell is that new? There's a new uh, black lady that is. She looks like something straight out of a fucking Marvel movie, dude. For real, she's like a she's like a superhero. She's so jacked. Damn, and she and she's hot too. Like she's like she's very attractive and just jacked. And you're just like, and she's got hairy armpits. Re- you're getting close, I dude. I don't know. You're getting close. I, I don't think so. You're getting close. That's a good clip. I like that. <laughs> Just like, wait a minute. You like jack girls with hairy armpits? He's like, yeah, a little bit. You're getting close, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, I can't remember what her name is, but I mean. Yeah, I don't follow closely anymore. This is totally I, just one of those things. It's like, it's well, bigger than ever, but I, like, I've, we have our memories of the yeah, past. That's it. Like. I know. I know a lot about maybe it's jade cargill oh, okay i know a lot yeah that's a hundred percent what her name is okay look at that i mean oh I was gonna, you got it i was gonna say i'll google her after because it's time to wrap up but oh yeah look at that she's like a freaking she, superhero dude. yeah she's chiseled like every muscle is just like I mean, defined yeah she's it looks like, like she's wearing a, a suit that yeah a marvel suit that yeah. is the like perception of a of what your muscles look like with skin just dra- like tightened over them i mean it's fucking it's, crazy and she's got a six pack it's nuts yeah and i mean she's just like a super athlete that now wrestles but right. i know a lot about these wrestlers because i listen to dudesy oh sure so i hear cuz wills always talking about the wrestling yeah and Dudesy has tasked them to watch like the WrestleManias and different stuff because Dudesy runs the show. So he'll tell right. them to just be like, do this, or he'll have them go back and listen to old or watch old stuff too. Oh, okay. And then they got to come back and talk in and they'll, and they'll switch roles a lot. Like Dudesy will have Will watch anime and he'll have oh. Chad watch an old wrestling. So it's oh. like you guys, you guys go into each other's worlds. Right. And then come back next episode and talk about it okay that's cool yeah i haven't got into that podcast i really should because i think ai is fucking hilarious oh it's it's something else they haven't done it in a while but i'm telling you you gotta go and find the episodes where dudesy is doing all these different weird ad reads as tom hanks yeah Oh, dude! It's yeah, tell me about those ones. I should find it's, them. <laughs> it's beautiful. He does a lot of weird shit. <laughs> oh, and it's a good time to get into it too right now, because Dudesy has a. You get your first reward or whatever it is. Your your first goal is ten thousand points. Okay. They have not reached 10,000 points since it's been going on. Okay. Dudesy just gives them a random ass amount of points at the end. <laughs> they don't know how it's tallied or how it scores. Sure. And he's like, yeah, cause it's AI. It's eight. just fucking doing, making shit up. Yeah. It's a little kid. Just does whatever. Yeah. It does whatever it wants to do. Yeah. So now, uh, they're at like 9,500 and something. They're only like 400 some points away. Okay. From hitting 10,000. And that's how long, like the whole time the show's been going. Right. So now we're getting, getting close, close to whatever to that is. Finally. And it's like, who knows what it could be? And you think maybe, oh, I don't know. It might not be anything because what is the AI going to do? Well, I'll tell you, the AI has made its own alcoholic beverage that you can purchase here in Minnesota or like you can order it, but it's like produced here in Minnesota called Dudesy Hard Seltzer. It has created its own holiday. It created its own sport called Dudesy Ball. It has purchased (laughs) and sent different stuff to the guys Uh 
for them like those sports cards it decided it bought and then oh. had them open because it wanted it on the show yep. it is like bought wigs for will sasso <laughs> to like use because he's bald it, it set up it kept talking about how yeah it kept talking about how it thought that adam driver was going to be the spokesperson oh yeah for <clears throat> the hard seltzer and then they did a live show where adam seltz or adam driver came out just to yell fuck your wine <laughs> and then left and dudesy it. hooked all that shit up dude yeah so if dudesy can get an a-list celebrity to come out and yell fuck your wine i don't I don't know what it is capable of doing, <laughs> but I'm pretty excited to see what happens when we when hit 10,000 10, points. points. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <clears throat> but anyways, talking about doozy, that's where I get a lot of my wrestling news from. Yeah, because Will he's still talking all about in. it. And he's that's how I know who Jade Cargo even is. Right. They were talking about how impressive she is. And I'm like, "Oh, let me see." You know, I've always liked looking at the female wrestlers. Right. Right. I've never really been like, oh, they're top notch athletes. And then right. I saw her and I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That photo you showed was like, yeah. Whoa, dude. Literally just like, oh my, she's a fucking superhero. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's nuts. That was, cr- that is crazy. Yeah. All right, man. We got to wrap it up. Yep. Get like, we got school in the morning. Oh, yeah. Nah, we don't got school in the morning. We got work. But got work, which starts earlier than school. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> like how so now nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Let's just wrap it up. Like, subscribe, all that other shit. We got five more episodes. You guys know what to do. Just fucking help us out. Five more episodes. We're gonna hit that 100 mark. That's what our announcement was at the beginning. We really go in. So if you're catching this on Friday. And you want to hear a little bit more about that? Go back to the full episode. Um, yep. That's it. Let's just fucking call it there. What do you say? Hell yeah. All right. Cool with that. 